I know why you're watching this video. You know why you're watching this video. Mitchell knows why you're watching this video. So let's just get started. So to make the spikes, we've got some metal rod. And because this is the water jet channel, we have to use a water jet to make it. It's four pronged and no matter which way it is sitting there, there's always one spike coming up. So no matter how it drops out, there's always one spike pointing up. And it's hard to see, but down each spike, there's a groove that we ground in there and that's kind of a bleed channel. So when that sticks into the tire, that leaves a spot for the air to come out so it just doesn't plug its own hole. So now, we just need to go to Armor Max, install the box, run over some tacks, and hopefully cool stuff happens. And here we are. I love this place. Got some vans, Sprinter van. Oh, matte black Hellcat. How'd you beat me here? Um, I had to take the Humvee. How's this gonna work? There's gonna be a button installed on the car, but when they hit the button, it'll it just uh, it'll do a thingy. Pops and pops open. This will be upside down, and then those are all the tacks we made. Full of tacks. We're putting them on permanently. And then this will be bolted on underneath here. Speaking of which, where did this vehicle come from? Uh, this is Rhino Rush's truck that Diesel Brothers made for them, so it's pretty sweet. Holy cow! This thing is a beast. A few moments later, we are all done. There's our button right there, and there's our box. Okay, Mitchell, test it. Three, two, one. Uh-oh. Packed it in a little too tight. They were packed in there real tight. 42. 42. Wow. Okay. That might be why. I think it was a little too full. Okay, so we had 42 packed in there. It was a little snug. We've reloaded it now with just 20. <laughs> okay, third time's the charm. There we go. And if we're moving, those are going to be bouncing all over the road. And here's a better look at the truck. That's a real truck. And we've invited our stepdad here to chase it. This is your weapon of choice? Yeah. What do we got here? This hair's 1992 Mustang convertible. <laughs> In pristine shape, might I add. Look at that. Would you look at it? Would you just look at that? <laughs> would you just, would you look at it? <laughs> well, we, we got some, uh, some trash. Uh, sunglasses, factory equipped, of course. No roof, the top's got holes in it and whatnot. But she's reliable. Trusty and ready to run over some tacks. So this one's going over the tax second, right? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> For the low, low price of fifteen five, it could go over whatever you want it to go over. <laughs> yeah, nothing really special in here. I've got that same engine in my lawnmower. Yeah, they come in everything nowadays. So we've got all the pieces together now. We've got playground area. Now we just need a real world situation. Oh man, I am so hot. That's the Rhino Rush truck. Oh, I could really use some of that right now. Yeah! What 
were you guys doing? Just wanted some Rhino Rush, man. I mean, like these ones? Yeah. Whoa. Well, there's an easier way to do it, guys, and you don't have to blow all your tires. What? How do you do it? You just gotta click on the link down in the description. Oh, should have thought of that. So if you haven't figured out yet, Rhino Rush is the sponsor of this video. They made all of this stuff possible, and they wanted to hook up you guys, our viewers, with a special deal. If you click on the link down in the description, you can get a six pack for free. All you have to do is pay for shipping. That's it, and you get a free six pack. Well, how many people get these? Like just the first hundred or something? More. Like the first 200? More. Thousand? More. 10,000? More. <laughs> Let's bankrupt these guys. Everyone who watches this video, get a six pack of Rhino Rush Energy for free. Just pay shipping. Oh yeah, that's lick test approved. Pure energy right here. What was the aftermath? This is from these hardened steel spikes. Just flattened them. And it flattened the tires. Double flat. Got one up there slashed the side of the tire and the front tire cleared a perfect path for the the rear tire because it got nothing the slots in them they did their job stuck in there and they let all the air out and tires were 100 percent flat after it was less than a minute yeah you wouldn't have got very far okay well we've got a bunch of spikes left over i think the last test is we should line a bunch of these up i'm thinking in like two rows like this Something really gnarly like that. And we'll have Anthony uh, burn out that back wheel and then go right over that and see if we can shred a tire. Clean off the rim. The results are all in, and the verdict is... I mean, these are more like one-time use spikes. They, they flattened out real easy. They also flattened tires, um, but I think we could flatten the tires better and make these a little bit more durable. Um, we've, got, we've got a few ideas. These spikes are a little longer than they need to be. You could do shorter ones and we could fit a lot more and we'd have less issues with jamming. Sometimes once the spike got stuck in there, it was still like a pretty good seal. It wasn't letting a lot of air out. Uh, so like a hollow tubing um, or maybe a, a deeper groove cut in the thing maybe would uh, help. Overall though, uh, if you run over these, you will uh, flatten your tire. So don't do it. Yeah, not a good idea. Thanks again to Rhino Rush for bringing all these pieces together and making this video possible. It couldn't have been done without them. And also special thanks to Armor Max for helping us with the dispenser and 76 for driving and doing donuts and stuff. <laughs> Don't forget to get your energy drinks, link in the description, uh, or go to waterjetchannel.com forward slash giveaway.